Popped up. Shallow right field. Long run here for Infante. And fielder and Prince can't get there. He was the closest. Did Prince just grab a nacho? I didn't see it. I think he took somebody's nacho. He's chewing on something. <laughs> That's beautiful. Let's see. He sure did took one of that man's nacho. He didn't dip it in the cheese though. It might have already had some cheese on it. <laughs> That's perfect. That dude is so unsuspecting. It was once I saw Prince in Milwaukee where he needed some sunglasses. And finally he has his sunglasses. <laughs> I think he just borrowed some fans. That's great. Into the corner, thinking he might have a shot at it. But when he finds out he doesn't, he decides that he is kind of hungry. So he just reaches into a fan's popcorn and helps himself. <laughs> Illinois lottery, anything's possible. You know, the one thing the Reds haven't done, I mean, DiScafani had a hard time, obviously, with his command tonight, but I mean, even for Cody Reed, just took this cap off a young Dodger fan. How about that? It's good stuff. First pitch swinging. The Northfield, Rizzo coming over, and no play. Watch Anthony Rizzo on this foul ball. Try to take that kid's bag of peanuts. Teaching him a lesson, son. Always guard your peanuts. Guys to another limit. We asked him in our pregame talk. It is warm after all today. <laughs> See Miguel Cabrera do that a few times. And he walked 94 times. Oh, this is the guy. This is the ice cream guy. <laughs> Well, that only seems fair, right? Triple A baseball, and uh, they knew it would not damage his psyche. He pitched a little bit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little red headed fellow. I love it. That's great. <laughs> Popped up foul ground. And able to get there is Jesse, and he's going to have a little nacho. Let's see. Hey, reach in there. Come on. Come on. Put some in your glove. Take it back to a position. In with your you. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a Braves guy down there. Look at him. <laughs> uh, can you tell us exactly what happened there? Yeah, so in the first inning, uh, he came out, he looked, saw the sun was in his eyes. He came over and looked for some glasses, and I had mine. Uh, or hollered at him and asked if he wanted some glasses, and he came over and, and took them, uh, made two plays with them, and after the after he made the third out, which is actually right in front of us, he came and just handed me the glasses and handed me the ball. It was really cool. Were you nervous at all that he wasn't going to give you the glasses back? No, not really. I knew, I know Carlos is a good guy, and I, I knew he was going to give them back. Ran into a fan who was wearing a brand new Messi jersey. As we all know, Bautista's a huge Messi fan, so he made a deal with the fan. Swap jerseys. Jose pulled the shirt off his back that he was wearing for BP. The fan peeled off his messy jersey and they made a clean swap. Jose put on the messy jersey, wore it all through batting practice. It was a little tight fitting, but he says, hey, not too many people have a new messy jersey. Now he wants to get it autographed by Messi himself.